this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I am very, very excited tonight. I'm going for overall win, number 901. I am at Yabba's Wacky Snack Shop in Foley, Alabama, which is just north of Gulf Shores, where I was yesterday. We've got lots of people here, which is much appreciated. <laughs> locations there's actually another one down in Gulf Shores but this challenge this new challenge that I'm helping to kick off is only available here in Foley Alabama I am hoping to become the first person to dominate their new Yabba's Wacky Food Challenge so I've got 30 minutes to finish everything here there are six items total and all of them just look and smell delicious to start off we've got a jalapeno and pimento double cheeseburger which also has bacon that looks awesome. I don't think I've had pimento cheese in a while, but we've got two different hot dogs. We've got a spicy mac dog with mac and cheese, buffalo sauce, yummy. And then we've got jalapenos there with the bun and then of course the hot dog. This is a chili cheese dog with their homemade chili and then their shredded cheese on top. The toughest part of this thing, I think, is going to be this one pound pretzel. I've got a whole bunch of nacho cheese here, which is not required, but I'm gonna dip a lot of the pretzel into that. And then I'm very, very excited for this. It is their pulled pork pile. I could have gone with fries or tater tots, I think, but I went with tater tots because they looked amazing. On top, there's like four ounces of their pulled pork that they cook here. There is some barbecue sauce and then a whole bunch of cheese. So I've got all of this and then to finish off for dessert, I've got this 16 ounce delicious Oreo milkshake, which also has some M&Ms, but you see this freaking baseball sized thing of edible cookie dough. I'm very, very excited for that. 30 minutes to finish everything here. If I fail, it's gonna be $50, but if I win, I'll get my meal free. I will get a sweet t-shirt down to my collection and I'll be the very first person up on their wall of fame. Let's get this challenge started. Woo! All right, big thank you to Christy and her family and their staff and everybody here at Yabba's Wacky Snack Shop. I've got 30 minutes to just shut up and eat. The big variable here is this pretzel. I'm gonna start with it pretty early while it's still warm and then I'm gonna finish off the milkshake, but let's do it. Overall win number 901. One, two, three, boom. All right, gonna do the hot dogs first actually and then do that. So chili cheese dog. Good to have some normal sized specialty hot dogs today. Love hot sauce. Hot dogs going. All right, let's get this pretzel. Oh yeah, that is good. Freshly baked today. Lightly salted too to keep this challenge healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of healthy vegetables on that. Mm -hmm. pretzel so I'm gonna take a break from that and then work on this jalapeno and pimento double cheeseburger so there are two five ounce burger patties so 10 ounces of beef total so many healthy vegetables I forgot we've got jalapenos we've got tomatoes we've got lettuce we have red onions so good
All right, this pimento cheese on here, there's a lot of it. Thankfully, I like it, but it is delicious on all this beef. One of the chefs that helped prepare this, along with Christy, said she eats a burger here every day, so I knew this was gonna be good. I thought they added way too much cheese with this, but I ended up using all of it. <laughs> Thankfully they did, it was so good. This is sour cream. I think it might be fat-free sour cream, I don't know. I'm gonna add this and get this whole pork pile down. I tried one of the tater tots before this challenge started and they're pretty good. this pulled pork pot. Mm. All right, it is dessert time, yes. And it still looks just as beautiful when they brought it out. And I'm so excited we have a healthy cherry on top. Uh, there is Oreo and M&M's all throughout, but we're here at Yabba's Wacky Snack Shop. This place is massive. They've got so many sweets. You just watch me eat a whole bunch of their, uh, the savory parts of their menu, but they've got popcorn, I guess which is savory, but they've got fudge, they've got ice cream, they've got so much, including milkshakes. But let's have some of this edible cookie dough. I love cookie dough, it's one of my, been my favorites. Growing up, I almost got fired from Subway years ago because I got caught in the freezer eating cookie dough. So let's enjoy this and dominate. Oh yeah. I actually have this argument quite often. Cookie dough, I actually do prefer over actual cooked cookies. Okay, it's thinned out a little bit. I thought it was gonna be thick. Okay, I don't even know how I'm gonna do this. Plastic fork. My fault, because I keep losing all my big utensils. That tasted like the cream in dungarees. I don't know why, but that was so good. Remembering dungaroos means you're old. That was like when I had in my lunch boxes that mom gave me for school. Okay, I just got disappointed. There is so much down there. Wow, oh, there's a bag of chocolate chips down there. Actually, we can do it. Twenty minutes and twenty seconds is the now record for Yabba's Wacky Food Challenge. Love finishing off with that cookie dough, the entire milkshake, and the, I gotta say, my biggest surprise was the pretzel. I haven't had a pretzel in a long time, but that pretzel was absolutely phenomenal. So big thank you to Christy, her husband, their family, everybody here at Yabba's Wacky Snack Shop. It was overall win number 901. I'll be in Ocean Springs, Mississippi tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching.